Welcome to our video on Python, Pandas, and the Chi-squared test of independence. Today, we're addressing a question from a viewer who's new to both Python and statistics. They want to know if their application of the Chi-squared test is correct, especially since their results show a p-value of zero. This raises some concerns about the accuracy of their coding. Let's dive into their question and explore the details together. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's begin by understanding the chi-squared test of independence. This test helps us determine if there's a significant relationship between two categorical variables. Now let's look at your code. You imported the necessary libraries, NumPy, Pandas, and SciPy. This is a great start for data manipulation and statistical analysis. Next, you created a data frame to summarize your observed data. Make sure that the observed values are correctly structured in a contingency table format. You calculated the expected frequencies using the outer product of row totals and column totals. This is crucial for the chi-squared calculation. Finally, you computed the chi-squared statistic and the p-value. A p-value of 0.0, .0 suggests a very strong relationship, but ensure your data and calculations are accurate. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To calculate the degrees of freedom for a chi-squared test of independence, you use the formula. Degrees of freedom equals the number of rows minus one multiplied by the number of columns minus one. For a two by two table, this results in one degree of freedom. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.